Hey, what's up, guys? We back, and today we're going to be opening up this 94 BND Playoffs Player Fantasy Pack. You already know we no money spent, so this pack is going to be extra nice for us. But before we do that, I'm going to show you all my team, and then we're going to open this stuff straight up. I'm going to show the players first, for just for the people that want to come in and see what type of players are in here. If y'all do that, yo, at least make sure y'all like the video. But this is my team right here. Um, Bruce Matthews, Alex Mack, all these guys. We are a Falcons fan, so we 30 out of 35. So this show y'all so y'all would know why we choose who we choose. So right here, we're looking pretty nice. We actually pulled this Justin Tuck from an 84-plus B&D Legend pack. It was like one coin. So one coin, we end up getting 94 Justin Tuck. So anyway, let's get straight into it. Let's go, man. Unopened packs. We're going to open these stuff later on. So anyway, 94 B&D playoff finish pack. I'm going to let the pack animation open up once. All right, we're going to go all the way through. All right, for the people that just want to see what players we got in here, we got Harrison Bucker, Derek Barnes, George Kittle, Kevin Zettler, Stephen Nelson, Christian Harris, Darnell Savage, Vita Vea, Jared Goff, Romeo Dobbs, Isaiah Pacheco, Josh Allen, Jordan Love, Ernest Jones, Darius Slay, Big Play Slay, Ryan Neal, Taylor Decker, Malik Cooker, Isaiah Sumalo, Tua Tagalovanla, Darius Smith, Dalton Schultz, Creed Humphrey, and James Cook. All right, like I said, now for the people that's just wanting to see, you know, who the players was in the pack, now I'm about to break down and show y'all exactly why I'm going to choose who I'm going to choose. So let's start with Harrison Bucker. I'm not about to choose him, but, you know, I like to go into it, show the stats and stuff like that. So Harrison Bucker, do I want to kick her out of this? If I'm really thinking about it right now, he has 95 kick power. I believe he's the best kicker in the game right now. I don't know what's going to happen with team in a year, so I'm going to probably hold off on this Harrison Bucker. Um, but 95 kick power is not bad. He probably going to get clutch kicker and all that other stuff. But it's a no for me right now. We're still rocking with Grandma, Grammatica, Grandma C, that's what I like to call him. Derek Barnes right here. This man actually did pretty good in the game, man. This dude acting like Antoine Barnes out there. 94 speed for a middle linebacker. But if you got Ray Lewis or if you got Shannon Crowder, Jack Campbell, I would not waste a B and D on the middle linebacker unless you just really want them. You know what I'm saying? So here we go right here. 94 speed. That's that's amazing. 94 play rig, 94 block shit. But obviously when I upgrade Ray Lewis a lot more, he'll be a lot better than him. Look, he already has better zone coverage and you know, better hit power at this point. So Derek Barnes is it's a no for me on that. And let's go to the next one. George Kittle. Now, if y'all didn't know the MCS is going on and we are about to get a free Kyle Pitts, me being a Falcons fan and me about already having Jordan Reed right here. Uh, I put Falcon Cam on him and we already have Tony Gonzalez. And this Kyle Pitts is going to be placed with a 94 Kyle Pitts. There is no point in me going getting George Kittle, even though I've been rocking with George Kittle for the longest. I haven't had him in this ultimate team, but since he's been in the league, George Kittle, I was a huge fan of him right before you know everybody started hopping on this bandwagon. This dude is a nice car. If you don't have a tight end, that 96 catching and uh, I don't know about 91 catching traffic. That's kind of, I don't know why they did that for him, but 94 speed, 94 spec. This man route running is, is crazy. 84 run block is amazing compared to everybody else. Dude has the best run block in the game. Uh, unless you got, uh, what's the dude name? Oh, of course, Gronkowski. Maybe, I don't know if Gronkowski is better than him or not. But yeah, George Kittle, out of all the three he's played so far, George Kittle, if I had to choose somebody, it would be him. But we do not need him. So Kevin Zettler, right guard. Now we have Bill Frelick on the team. But it's really, let's see. Wow, he's actually pretty good. If you guys, you know, want a playoffs theme team or if you want a Ravens theme team or if you just want a right guard, Kevin Zettler is already, already uh, he's always good in every single game. So good stuff right there. But we have Chris Storm and Bill Frelick. There's no point in me getting a right guard. Anyway, Steven, Steven Elster for the Texans, 5'11". Compare him to Ken to Ratley, uh, Rally. He, Ken Rally is better. But comparing him, this is not that far off. He has better acceleration, as you see. But Ken Rally has better man coverage, better zone. 95, man, 95 zone is way better than Steven Nelson. But they did this card really good. So good stuff to them. For Texans, guys, y'all, yo, that's, that's, that's a really nice card. Christian Harris. We actually already had this man on the team. This was the set I actually completed. I think this dude is a really great player. Watching him through the playoffs, and this man was dominating. 
So we actually end up changing his abilities instead of flat zone KO and air strip. We actually put flat zone KO and lurk artists on him, so he's gonna be going crazy. So anyway, we already have him, but this is probably one of the best left outside linebackers in the game. So that's why we already got him. So Darnell Savage, dude dropped that pick in the playoffs, man. Probably would have been a different story. I was actually rooting for the Packers, even though I, I felt like the Lions were gonna go all the way. But the Packers, it would have been nice to see Jordan Love do what they gotta do. But we already have Jesse Bates, me being a Falcons fan. But if you look at it, he has 91 man coverage, 94 zone, 94 hit power. This man can easily be the best safety, free safety in the game. So good stuff like that. But since Jesse Bates is Jesse Bates, and it, it's just not like worth the upgrade for me. So, but this card is probably nice. Vita Vea, I was going to get this card for the longest. Vita Vea is so dominant. You can probably still use the 89 overall Vita Vea and still put in work. But we have Chris Jones. We got Aline McNeil. Um, so I'm not really worried about it. We did upgrade Aline McNeil. Even though they did not make the Super Bowl, they still, that last tier, I told you I thought the Lions were going to go to the Super Bowl, but they didn't. So I, I paid that 12000 training. So compared him to Vita Vea, fully maxed out. As you see right here, Aline still has the better speed, better acceleration. But obviously Vita Vea is going to be stronger than him. He got better play rig. The black shed is by one. The power move is by three. But as you see, Aleem has better finesse. So we do not need Vita Vea no more, man. As much as I like Vita Vea, as much as I like his cards also the team, we don't need Vita Vea. Jared Goff, we actually got Michael Vick. So, but Jared Goff, you know, he had a great year this year, man. But me having the scheme that I have right now, Jared Goff is just not that guy. But I do like that 95 play action. If I was to get a quarterback from this, it would be Jordan Love because I like Jordan Love a lot better. I told everybody in week two when we played against the Packers that Jordan Love was going to be special. And I don't know if you would believe me, but he pretty much showed it to everybody that he was going to be special. So, yeah, anyway, Romeo Dobbs, another guy that's been going great in the playoffs. Comparing him to Julio Jones, which came out um, during – no, I was about to call it hard of a I'm going to say zero chill. But, anyway, you see he got 94 speed. But Julio Jones is still way better than him. Only thing he got on him is deep route run. And, yeah, it's just not worth it. Julio Jones, and we still running with. I actually started back Julio Jones. We've been using Alshon Jeffrey a lot. But I would like to mix it up a little bit. But as you see, even Alshon Jeffrey. So Romeo Dobbs, they kind of did this car dirty. But the dude did get an upgrade from the last time he had a car. Isaiah Pacheco. We got CP with us. Already, but 95 speed, this dude is insane. That's a great car. If you got like doing the HB pass or whatever, or HB wheel or whatever you want to call it, this man would probably be sick. So, as you see right here, but CP still is holding strong against a car that literally just came out. So, we rolling with it. And we got 95 speed on CP, so I'm not really worried about that as well, too. So, Josh Allen, another quarterback, 90 speed for Josh Allen. I thought he would be faster. Surprisingly, he only got 90. 90 speed, 95 throw power for him. We got boost. I believe Michael Vick is boosted to a 95 throw power as well. How we got him on the team. The throw accuracy deep, throw, uh, throwing the pressure, throwing the run. Good stats for him, but we do not need him as our quarterback. So, yeah, Jordan Love, speaking of Jordan Love, I told you. I would I was, I was wanted this card. I really do want this card. But as right now, it just, you know, it wouldn't make sense for me to do it because the stats are not that far off. Even though Michael Vick's play action is 85, he goes crazy with the play action. Um, so, yeah, 6'4". And in the last he was that tall. Dang. Like my little cousin. I always say that every time I see Jordan Love, I'm like, man, that man look like my little cousin. So, anyway, 95 throw power. This dude is nice. If, if I was to choose a quarterback out of everybody, out of Josh Allen, Jared Goff, it would be Jordan Love. But we can't choose him because... You know, it's just not worth the other Jones. I told you earlier, if y'all want a middle linebacker, if y'all want one, don't choose this one. Choose the other guy because this is not it. This is this is a bad card. I don't know what the heck is 88 play recognition going to do. 91 block shit. 95 pit power is cool, but it's a no for me. Ernest Jones is a great player, but, well, I don't really know, but eh, I want to choose that. Now, big play slate, man. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I looked at this he was one of the guys I was going to choose, but it's it's a no for me. And the thing is, I know big play slay. He's big play slay. Pair him to Hester. You know what I'm saying? He got him by, you know, a few 
points and stuff like that. A few attributes. 9077 is crazy. I didn't realize that. But where is he at? My train lane. I was going to be like, okay, cool. Let's replace Darius Slay. Um, well, let's replace my train lane with Darius Slay. But I seen that the Super Bowl promo is coming out. And I actually would like to replace my train lane with Josh Norman. So I'm not really too concerned about this. This card is probably one of the best cornerbacks in the game. He's always been a great corner in real life and in the game. But I'm not going to choose him right now because I know I'm going to just get Josh, uh, Josh Norman from the Super Bowl promo. Like I said, I'm recording this the day before, but when this comes out, this should be coming on later today. So Ryan Neal, he used to play for the Falcons, and this card is acting nice. But the only downside about it is the 90-man coverage. Now, it's not bad because, you know, considering the threshold is like the 90s and the 95s and, you know, the 100s, stuff like that. But I just like how Palomalo plays, man. If I was to get another safety, it would just be like the collector's edition Palomalo. Palomalo is one of the best safeties in my generation. So just having Ryan Neal, it'll probably be crazy because you'll have 96 speed. Man, this 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 card will probably be nuts on my Falcons, um, you know, theme team a little bit, you know, 30 out of 30, 30 out of 50. But this is crazy, man. This would probably be nice. Maybe I'll get him later on. But for right now, it's like a no, you know. So uh, it, it pains me because I'm like, but I never really, really was a fan of Ryan Neal, but I was a fan of Palomalo. So it's all about surrounding your team with people that you actually like. That's what makes it fun. So even though this dude would be cool, even though he was a Falcon, I never really was like, oh, shoot, Ryan Neal. Like, nobody was like that. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, now Taylor Decker, this was going to be my choice, guys. But I told y'all the Super Bowl promo was coming out. And they got that man, Andrew Whitworth, however you say his name, Super Bowl card. And then his, his car, you get like every freaking offensive lineman ability because we need a left tackle right now. So I'm actually holding off on Taylor Decker because that would be just ridiculous of me to get this card right now. And then within a few hours of this video coming out, the Super Bowl promo comes out and I would take a B and D and try to go get another car. You know what I'm saying? Like it would just be a waste of a B and D. So we're not gonna do that. So let's go ahead and go to Malik Hooker. What the heck? My bad. Anyway, 95 speed. This man played good in the playoffs too. 93 man. I actually know he did. <laughs> but he been playing good the whole year. But the playoffs are mid mid mid. But anyway, we got Jesse Bates, man. So uh, as you see, Jesse he got 90 tackling, 91 play rec. I would definitely not upgrade him at all. I would stick with Jesse Bates, even though Jesse Bates got 85 man. He actually plays really good with that man cover. I don't know what it is, but Jesse Bates plays great. It seems like he plays better man than he does zone. For some reason. I don't know what's up with that. But if Jesse Bates ever gets in the car, I'm definitely choosing him for sure. If it's like a team of the year, but Malik Cooker, nah, I'd rather get Darnell Savage over him if I was to choose one. So anyway, Isaiah so Salamalo, so, so, Samalo. We got Bruce Matthews. I've been waiting to upgrade Bruce Matthews for the longest, but if you look at the stats, they're not that far off. He does reach the thresholds in two of them, but it's like a no for me, a B and D left guard to another B and D left guard. Excuse me. That's not that much of a higher upgrade. It's like, a, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you doing this? So anyway, two of We already got Michael Vick, another left-handed quarterback, but as you see, Tua, they actually gave him a, a nice car, man. But for some reason, I never really do too good with Tua cars or playing with Tua at all. Um, but if I want, really wanted a guy like Nike, Michael Vick, he got 90, 95 speed on my team. So I'm not really worried about this, man. So Tua, if you want another car, just go for him. But it's a no for me. All right, it's Darius Smith. Now, I was thinking about this car too. But before this video, as you've seen, we got this Justin Tuck. Justin Tuck 97 acceleration is crazy. I thought he actually had better speed than that. They could have gave him 90, but it's all good. But 95 strength for him. But as you see, 95 block shedding, 95 power moves for Zadarius is freaking amazing. But we are going to utilize this free Justin Tuck. We've got Ezra to lead on him. We haven't played no game yet after the last video, as y'all saw. We tried to moss and stuff like that. So after this video, um, you know, when everything come out, hopefully we can play some games. But you see 96 finesse move for this man. I believe that's the highest finesse move in the game, if I'm not mistaken. 
this dude is about to go crazy for us, Justin Tuck. But Zadarius Smith, we don't have a left end. This man is looking nice, 6'4". This man is about to be crazy. But Justin Tuck over here with the 95 strength, he's about to be balling out. And 96 for this fool, we got this crazy with the Israel League. Ooh, that's about to be nice. Dalton Schultz, as I told y'all, we about to get Kyle Pitts. And I'd rather choose George Kittle over this man any day. But I played against his car, and he actually does really good. He does really good. I don't know what it is. I don't know how because his route running is uh, only 90s and 91s. But, yeah. But I would definitely choose George Kittle over this guy. But good stuff. Shout out to the Texans fans. Shout out to, I told you because people in Texas watch my videos more than any other state, which is crazy because, you know, I'm a Atlanta guy. But shout out for the, the people that support me in Texas, man. Anyway, Dalvin Cook, I told you we got 95 speed on CP, even though it didn't show it right here. I am definitely not going to choose a running back in this situation. We still got the backup Barry Sanders. Even if it's Derek, backup Derrick Henry, I would rather choose a Derrick Henry over this uh, James Cook. My bad, not Dalvin Cook, James Cook. Uh, but the change in direction, 94 change direction is nice. 88 catching is mid, 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 mid. I would still choose CP over this guy any day. So, yeah, CP, good stuff. So, anyway, y'all like, who are we going to choose? We are going to choose Creed Humphrey, man. Let's freaking go Creed Humphrey. As you see, 94 strength, 93 awareness. The tier of uh, the threshold for the pass block, the threshold for the pass block finesse. Um, comparing him to Alex Mack, it's not just about, you know, the car on the outside. If y'all didn't know, he still gets the AKA boost from the old card he had. So he is going to boost himself and he's going to boost Mike Vick, my order quarterback, the left guard, and the right guard. So he's going to start for us. And he's going to boost himself and boost everybody else around him. So that's what I like to see. So this is going to be a great card for us. This is who we're going to choose. Um, I think it was, this was recommended, by the way. So shout out to the person that recommended it. Um, I believe, oh, man, he always in the conversation. You know what I'm talking about, man. I appreciate you for recommending this card earlier on. But now that he has this card, good stuff. So, yeah, that's what we choosing, man. This side of the no money spent stuff work. You got to see what's going on. You got to, you know, choose wisely. And that's what we're doing. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's put Alex Mack right here. Alex Mack been doing great. He, Alex Mack plays better than the Kevin White. And y'all probably, oh, you can probably use Kevin White. Nah, bro, Kevin White don't got the boost like this, man. So, as you see right here, we boosting. He at 95 overall. Does he have a boost active? He only had a boost actually. <laughs> playoffs. I'll do the playoffs chemistry. Oh, we need. Oh, see, we didn't have a, the thing activated yet, but he already boosted to a 35 overall. So 4,200 training. Let me go ahead and get that real quick. Uh, Yeah. Is that playoff chemistry? How, what, how much do we have for the playoff chemistry? But yeah, he boosted because we have the playoff boost. By the way, hold on. Before we get some more training, where is it? I already passed it. I'm up playoffs. So we got that plus strength form. Where's the other one that do? Then we take it off. It's not gonna show up on here. Hold on, hold on, my bad guys. Where is it? Specialist. Did they take it off because the promo about to be over with? It should be this right here, guys. I'm trying to see where the heck is it. Maybe I just can't see it. Oh, NFC. There you go. There you go. So you see, even though he's an AFC guy, the boost still carry over for everything else. So anyway, let me get this training real quick. So yeah, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. Like this video. We about to get this training. I'm going to show y'all how you boost our team up. If EA don't lag up, the venues. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Sorry to the Texans fans, but we're trying to get some training. There's a war. Um, this guy, Ryan Kelly. Tucker. We'll try to keep the legends. Uh, let's see if that's enough. Nope. We'll quick sell him. Marcus May. Trey White. We're going to try to. JK Dobbins, we don't need you no more. All right, bet. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is how you do it, man. This is how you, you know, we know money spent out here. This is how you got to do it, man. You got to see what your team looking like. Got to see what's best for, you know, what you got to do. And that's what we're doing. 
So yeah. So now he gives a quarterback, the center, our right guard and our left guard, plus one strength, plus one throw power for Michael Vick, plus one run block power, and plus one pass block power. So yeah. So let's back out. So as you see, Bruce Matthews actually went up. And like I said, you see Sweet Feet is boosting us as well. So whenever we do get Andrew Whitworth, he'll be the backup. Whitworth will be right here. How about saying his name right? And you see Creed Humphrey will be boosting everybody up as well. So let's go ahead and show you his stats like this. So boom, 96 strength for him, 93 awareness. Now look, now he reaches every single threshold except for a run block finesse. You see what I'm saying? He got the strength threshold. Well, awareness, yeah, he don't have that. A pass block, pass block power, pass, pass block finesse. Now he got the run block, the run block power, and he just missed a run block finesse. So, yeah, guys, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what we needed. And now Bruce Matthews, let me check him out real quick. And, you know, see, he just boosted. So let me take out Bill Fredlett real quick, too. See how he compares right now. So he, now he got 96 strength. His pass block power, now he reaches the new threshold of the pass block power, which is nice. But the rest of them are 92s. So good stuff right there, man. Anyway, see y'all in the next freaking video. I can't wait to play online with this team. And by the way, what the heck is Michael Vick's throw power? And now his throw power is a 96. Interesting. So anyway, appreciate y'all. Like, subscribe. Let me know who y'all chose. But yeah, that's what we're looking like, man. The team looking nice. I believe when we get some more coins, we'll get that man Keith Bullock at right outside linebacker. And I believe our team will be straight. Our team will be perfect. I can't wait to play with these guys. See you all in the next one, man. I'm out.